Hey everyone, Mr. Macintosh here, and in today's video, we're going to go over the new macOS Catalina 10.15.7 Supplemental Update. It was just released, and I'm going to go over everything that you're going to need to know about this update. I'm even going to go over stuff that Apple doesn't even tell you on their own page, because there's a lot of information that you're going to need to know about the versioning of the update, which version this is compatible for, is there a combo update, is there a full installer, what the heck is going on? I'll share all that information and more. Let's get started. Let's first talk about the versioning of this. Apple just recently released 10.15.7. A lot of people were saying this is great because in the previous releases of macOS, they only released up to 0.6. So we thought jumping to 0.7 was gonna be a new versioning scheme so we don't have to worry about all these weird supplemental updates and stuff like that. But unfortunately, we're, we're still getting the supplemental updates. And I think the reason behind that is, is that this update actually has no OS related fixes are in this update, only security related fixes. So it's also a little bit confusing that they could have said, this is the Mac OS Catalina 2020-00 whatever security update instead. But they don't usually do that until the next version of the operating system is released. And Big Sur will not be releasing until next week. So that's probably why they reverted back to the supplemental update name. Let's jump in and, and figure out what is going on with this update. So let's scroll down. I've got my article up here going over all the information. This is the sixth supplemental update of Catalina. So that means that there's five previous supplemental updates. This has been a big release schedule, and this is actually the 21st overall update to Catalina. So Catalina has seen a lot of updates. What does Apple say about this update? All they say is, is that macOS Catalina 10.15.7 supplemental update is recommended for all users and improves the security of macOS. So notice that they, doesn't, they don't see anything about the, the bug fixes or anything like that, just security. Let's jump to the only real place where Apple talks about this update is the security update page. And this talks about the security content in here. This covers three security related fixes. Now, the first one is for font phaser, and this says that it, it, the impact is, is processing a maliciously crafted font may lead to arbitrary code execution. Apple is aware of reports of an exploit like this in the wild. We need to really, really focus in on that for a second. That is a strong statement by Apple saying, hey, We've actually found this in the wild being used by malware or hackers right now. That tells me that this is a pretty big, important issue. Let's jump into the next one. These are both kernel exploits. A malicious application may be able to execute arbitrary code with, with kernel privileges. Apple is also aware of reports of an exploit for this issue exists in the wild. And the same thing with this one. So that is really striking. And these were both, all three of these were, are, 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 were issued CVEs and were from the Google Project Zero team. So again, security updates in the past have usually said that we have not, well, Apple is not aware of this being used in the wild yet. So that usually means that it was hidden and only given to Apple and then Apple could fix it and then someone else could still craft something that could use that vulnerability, but any machine that was patched, they wouldn't be able to do. It would only be older machines that haven't been patched yet. This is different. This means that this is already being taken advantage of right now. Let's jump right back into what, how do we get this, this update installed? So let's go down here. I talk about the confusing update situation here because this is something that Apple doesn't go over. I had to jump into the, in, and extract the installer to find out what versions of Catalina that you can install this update on. Now, before we go over this, there's actually two updates. Normally for a situation like this, Apple releases four separate pieces. They release a supplemental update, and then they release a Delta or they'll release a combo update. But this supplemental update's a little bit different. They've only released a supplemental update and a Delta update. So what this means is that this is this supplemental update is for all 10.15.7 users. If you're on 10.15.7 now, and you're on 19H2 or 19H4, you're gonna get the supplemental update showing up in, in, in software update. And that's only 1.2 gigabytes. I tested the installer out last night and it works okay, no issues. 
that's what you're going to get. But wait a minute. wonder if you're on 10.15.6. Well, guess what? I already looked into that too. You're going to get the Delta update. What that means is, is you can see this a little bit bigger. It's 2.84 gigabytes. And that's what's going to be available for you to install. It'll say it'll, it's actually a re-released update of the Delta update. Now, wonder if you're on 10.15.5 and below. So let's just use an example that you're still on 10.15.4. Well, you're going to get the old combo update. And how do I know this, right? I'll show you. The way I, I check is Software Update Inspect. It's a neat little app that shows you all the products in the Software Update catalog. When I see the Supplemental Update, here it is. Here's the Delta Update and here's the Supplemental Update. Notice that there's no combo update here because it, it would be another, uh, another piece here that says Update. And you can tell by the size because it would be about four gigabytes. And there's no full installer. So that's a real big teller that say that apple only really got these pieces covered so if you're at if you like i said if you're on 10.15.5 and below here's what you're going to get we'll type in 10.15.7 update now look at this you're going to get this combo update from the 15th and that's why it's at 4.78 gigabytes and i told you guys this is going to be confusing but that's why i dug into this so you guys i'm going to share this information with you so you are informed if you're on 10.15.0 to 10.15.5 you're going to get this update now look at that. What do you think is going to happen after you install that update? You're going to be at 19H2. And then this is going to show up in software update for you. So you, if you're on one of those versions from 10.15.0 to 10.15.5, you're going to have to take two additional steps. And the same thing's going to happen with the full installer. So if I go up here and we look for Catalina, we'll look at the full installers. So here you go. Look at that, on 9.24 was the last time that they released in full installer, and that's 19H2. So if Apple would have released a full installer that included the security fixes inside this update, it would have been released yesterday. So now think about that, what that means. If you download this from the App Store and install it or deploy this, you're still gonna have to install the supplemental update after. And that's why it's an, it, it would be really nice that Apple would have released a full Catalina update installer with these security update fixes in it so you don't have to do another 1.2 gigabyte download and then another update uh, restart. So that's why I wanted to go over those things with you guys today so you know how to deploy this you're going to know how to to how the updates will react to your fleet or your mac at home and what you're going to see in software update so when this is all done you're going to see 19h15 this is a screenshot of a system that already got that update did you guys install this did you deploy this yet let me know in the comments i hope that this goes over most of the issues to help explain what the heck's going on with this this uh, supplemental update. And before I go, I wanted to mention that the, pre, the T2 bridge up update was updated to a new version of 17.16.1610. How do I know that? And, and, and notice that in software update, it will tell you this. So we'll take this out and go back up update because look at this. Here's the bridge OS update for 10.15.7. But notice the time. When the, when I started, first started writing this article, it came out at 12.30 instead of 12 o'clock. So it was a little bit late. So I thought that there was no Bridge OS update. But they did pr publish that. And I made sure that that does get installed after installing on a T2 system is after installing the supplemental update. So hopefully that's, that gives that covers everything you guys need to know about the supplemental update. I recommend that you install this as soon as possible because of the vulnerabilities are already in the wild. Let me know in the comments. Did you guys install? this did it go okay was it fast did the what did you see any issues i'm always in the comments answering questions so i'll be able to help you if you find any issues i hope this gave value to you today if it has make sure you click that subscribe button so you can see all my updates in the future have a good day guys